I personally believe that the only future for media organizations is to be on the open side of, of this argument about the way that history is going. Uh, and the reason that the, these stories had the power and influence they did was partly because of the skills that journalists brought to, to bear on them, but it was also the fact that they could be read as easily in the street in Cairo or Tunisia uh, or Libya as they could in Washington or in Moscow or in uh, Madrid or in uh, Hamburg or in London. So you know, the simultaneous public, pub publishing of, of organizations who make their content uh, available for anybody to read, uh, I think, was the, the thing that had that power. Uh, and I think it's just something for news organizations to reflect on, that the, the more they build walls around the content, the, the more they're going to lessen that impact and influence that they can have uh, globally. So There's always an economic argument, but I mean, if you set aside the economic argument, there's no doubt that the power and influence uh, and effect of these stories uh, is through being open. And that, in time, is going to manifest itself in the people who bring us the stories. So, um, to my mind, there's no way that any organization that had walls around it uh, would have been chosen by Julian Assange to, to, to be a partner for this. You know, why would you? It, it would be an invisible story. Uh, so that there is something about the, the openness of what we do that, that was critical here.